So what they're asking, ladies and gentlemen, in this problem is identify the similar triangles, then find each measure. So what we need to do, again, when we're doing a problem like this, we're going to go ahead and do a problem like this. The main important thing that I told you guys is to take away the triangles, right? Separate the triangles so you can see them, Carly, as their own identity, not trying to determine what is one triangle over the other. So I am going to draw them separately, all right? Um, <clears throat> and then go ahead and label them S, R, T, all right? So this length is 14. We don't know what this length is, right? But we know that this length is going to be 3x minus 3 plus x plus 2. Would you guys agree on that? Caleb, do you agree on that? Yep. OK. Over here, you could say this length is 6, and this one is x plus 2. So what we're trying to do is they say they are similar, but how are we going to be able to, if they're similar then, that means their side lengths, right, are proportional. So what I can say then is I can say st is to vt is equal to sr is to vu. Right? Their side lengths are going to be proportional to each other. So now what I need to do is just plug, them, um, plug in their side lengths. Well, here, this actually, when you combine this, 3x minus 3 plus x plus 2, that gives you 4x minus 1. Correct? Would everybody agree with that when I combine those? I combine the x's and combine the numbers. Everybody agree with that? OK. So I can say st is 4x minus 1 over vt, which is x plus 2, which is equal to 14 over 6. Now that I have a proportion, do you guys feel like now we can solve this by using our cross multiplication and, and cross product? Yeah, now it's, now it's kind of into an element where you guys are like, oh, OK, I can probably do it from here now. So then I write 6 times 4x minus 1 equals 14 times x plus 2. Please remember, guys, whenever you're multiplying by a binomial, that you keep those parentheses, right? So then you make sure that you apply distributive property. So I have 24x minus 6 equals 14x. Um, plus 28. What I'll do is I'll subtract 14x. So therefore, I have 10x add 6. 10x equals 34. Divide by 10. Divide by 10. x equals 17 over 5. Or you could also say 3.4. OK? But I like leaving things as fractions. Um, but obviously, if you divide uh, that, you could also get 3.4, which would be the same answer. But I like 17 over 5. OK? And that's it. Anybody have any questions on that? No? Good?